So I'm here with uh, John Wong, who's the head of Connected Computers at Nokia. Hey, John, how are you doing? Good, good to see you again. Yeah, and uh, exciting news. Uh, last week, Nokia announced that they're entering the PC business with the new Nokia booklet 3G. So yes. why, are we, why is Nokia getting into the PC business? Well, you know, Nokia is all about connecting people. Uh, we were there to connect the first billion people, and we have every intention to be there to connect the next million people. Uh, and to do that, I think we're, we're now, as, as uh, anyone who's looked at Nokia, looking to connected services. We are further strengthening our device portfolio, and we're also looking at other connected devices. And I think if you look at what are the most logical next devices to bring the mo our mobile heritage to, I think uh, the PC is a, is a very logical choice. So you mentioned our, uh, uh, Nokia's mobile heritage. Uh, what elements of that have we integrated into, into the booklet 3G uh, from the beginning? Yeah, absolutely. I'll show it to you here. I, I treat this very, very gently, although it's quite durable. I've dropped this many times, and it's survived. So, um, you know, I think if we, if we take, this, uh, take a look at this, there are, of course, built-in 3G, that's, that's, uh, which means I think you can take it anywhere and uh, always be connected. Um, there's all-day performance. Using our, our, our knowledge in the power areas for mobility, we are able to uh, really, I think, bring the user a whole new level of experience where they can, with confidence, leave their house without their power cord, which I think is a, is a pretty big deal. I mean, uh, it used to be the case where I never, I never left uh, the office for a one-hour meeting without my power cord, and now I just, just go. And I think that's another example of mobility. And overall, I think, you know, there, there are many, many other uh, points which I'll talk about. But even if you just look at this as our, our mobile design language, the Nokia design language, I think uh, it, it very much speaks to where, where we've come from and where we're going. And I mean, it, yeah, it, it really looks great. And I think the, the clean lines really come across. I think, you know, the, the, you know it's not full. I, I noticed there's, there's kind of no, no fan areas or anything like that. I mean, was that something we uh, consciously did? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, again, we wanted to make sure we leveraged and, and really um, launched from our, our mobility uh, statement. And, you know, we think noisy fans and, uh, and sort of thick and fat are just uh, not the way, not, not what PC, PC users want. I mean, it's very interesting. A lot of people say to me, they'll say, you know, well, you know, there are a lot of strong players in the PC industry. Why are you guys doing this? But I, I think what's even more remarkable is is that if you look over the last, oh, I don't know what, 20, 30 years, um, and you look how many strong players out there, in reality, from a user benefit perspective, I don't think a whole lot has changed. So, you know, I think what we're, what we're here to do, again, is to bring uh, the mobile story, you know, our heritage of mobility to the PC world, and, and not try to out-PC the PC makers. Good. Well done. Thanks for joining us, and, and uh, yeah, looking forward to, to, to getting my hands on one. Absolutely. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs>